Ladies and gentlemen, this is Internet Personality Evangelist here with a look at the final man in TFC Toys Hercules Squad. Neckbreaker has a fairly unsubtle name, a whole lot of foot configurations, and a fist on his butt. Let's go. There are bulldozers, and then there's Neckbreaker's vehicle form. Truth be told, I think this is one of the nicer alt modes of the Hercules bunch. For all the maligning it got when it first came out, this thing's got a big blade, terrific treads, and a huge grill up front. Sadly, things do fall apart when it comes to working that bulldozer blade. Literally! Look at it! The careful array of swivels and working pistons is all for naught when the blade itself only locks together with a few friction tabs. I've not had the trouble others have had in getting it together in the first place, but it certainly can't stand up to much jostling, lifting, or tilting. As always, there are a number of ports to facilitate the empegging of Neckbreaker's weapons, or really any 5mm compatible guns and weaponry. The cab uses the same larger plug as the other Herculean construction toppers, but is so recessed it's hard to use in conjunction with any of them. Also, you can store a big purple block that totally isn't a fist on the rear of the bulldozer. The connection point has two orientations, but neither really help mask the, um, rear dirt raker thing that it's supposed to be. Neckbreaker's pelvis transforms a lot like Xgraver's, but their conversion similarities end there. The top chunk of the bulldozer blows open with a really cool torso flank swivel that reorients the shoulders with flair. I also dig the collapsing forearm panels. And the final chest plate motions make great use of the center of the bulldozer blade. Overall, it's a fun transformation that manages to escape the potential doldrums that plagued fellow Herculeans like Dr. Crank. From the waist down, Neckbreaker does look a lot like Xgraver, but his treads are thinner and ridgier. From the waist up, he looks like a perfectly serviceable construction robot, if a little bit of a departure from G1 Bone Crusher. Technically, he's quite similar, from tread legs to the bulldozer blade chest plate, but the visuals come off looking a lot more unique than homaging. Neckbreaker's head sculpt looks in line with his comrades, but I find it's a bit too squished down for my tastes. Could have been both taller and thinner by just a few millimeters. In terms of color work, Neckbreaker does come off a bit bland due to his enormous lack of purple. It's only really visible in his biceps, and I could have done with a little bit splashed on his torso as well. The duplication trend continues 6 for 6 with Neckbreaker's handguns, which have a really cool 90s ray gun slant to the front of their barrels. 5mm pegs and ports are spread out in decent distribution, while a larger port for things like Xgraver's scoop is placed on Neckbreaker's right forearm. He's also got much clearer access to the one on his back now, if you remove his cab piece. And now that we're at the end of this review series, I want to say that I really dig the gimmick of these bigger pegs for the construction chunks like Xgraver's scoop, but wish it had been given more than an almost embarrassed lip service in its delivery. Oh, so Neckbreaker comes with a giant purple hand. His wrist transformation is designed to allow him to replace his own left fist with this giant mitt. And if you have Xgraver, you can unlock Neckbreaker's secret BIG HANDS mode. This is really friggin' fun, man. Utterly silly and unnecessary in the best ways. And it's much better than storing the hand on Neckbreaker's posterior. You gotta save a man from the fate of having a butt hand. It's so the guy called Neckbreaker, guess what? You can, you can tilt his neck around. So as it looks like it's broken. <laughs> it's on a ball joint, but uh, the only real non-swivel movement you get out of it is, is looking up. It's a, it's a tad loose right now. I might, I might need to tighten this thing up a little bit, but um, it's decent. He can look up and, uh, and side to side. His shoulders, real simple swivels, and the, uh, the outward uh, swivel, the outward motion uh, is contained within the shoulder, so it does look nice and natural when he's doing it. Uh, he's got great elbows, real smooth elbows. Uh, there's, a, there's a good shape to them when they bend. You don't have a big open ridge like on some of the early guys. His waist can pivot with a clickety-click because of a thing this guy does. He's got ball-jointed hips, but uh, they're a little little bit droopy. I need to retighten these things a bit. There is a cut in the top of the treads to allow him to move his leg outwards like that, which is cool. There's a thigh swivel. There is a knee joint that, that totally breaks his leg open. It uh, doesn't look too good. And with this foot configuration, uh, you've got... Mostly just some forward and backward tilting, which does offer, uh, with the thigh swivels, a decent amount of stability. Now, I said that foot option. This guy has foot options. It's kind of a weird thing to have one guy be able to do, but I really like this idea. Because if you don't like how these kind of like bucket feet look, you can flip them around and give him flatter feet that look maybe a little bit, maybe a tad more G1-ish. 
Um, they have the same range of posability, that is, they can kind of swivel forward and backwards, and uh, they're an option, you know? So there's there's the, the kind of wedged down foot, there's this kind of flat tread foot, but if you don't like either of these things, if these are all really irritating you, you can fold the thing up here, store it there, the knee joint will still work uh, with the addition of a, a hydraulic motion if you hold everything together because it doesn't click together. And you remember X Graver? Remember his weird feet? This guy's got some of those too. Um, and they, they have a paint app. That's kind of neat, like for something that some people will never look at. Me included, aside from now, because I don't like this foot option as much as the other two. Um, but I, I appreciate what they're going for here. It seems like a mixture of, we're not sure what to do with the bulldozer blades, we have all these ideas and none of them are mutually exclusive and maybe nobody likes any of these and they just want this guy to look like X Graver. I think this is a cool idea. It's uh, it's a really neat way to get a little bit more life out of what has proven to be one of the the, the least well-received members of this whole team. I think just given uh, the lateness of his release uh, compared to everyone else. Also, there's there's a joint here that lets you do this, but I've never been able to make that work for me. It's It's just too loose, man. So that's the neck breaker, and that's how he breaks necks, with his three pairs of feet. I'm sure there's a fetish site for that somewhere, just, just give me a few minutes. Actually, rather than that, I was going to tell you guys, he comes with these shade things, neck breaker does, these eyepiece shade, now here's an important thing, okay? It says in the instructions, you can put these on his face. I would not do that if I were you, because you'll drop them. And a whole lot of people who have tried to do that ended up with these shades snapped in half. These things are for something else. And I highly recommend you do not try to fit them on his face other than gently laying them over top like this and seeing how dumb it would look anyway with these huge things sticking off the sides of his head. Don't use these. Just trust me. I have seen so much negative commentary on Neckbreaker and I honestly cannot agree with its severity. He's certainly not the best figure of the six, but I've found him far more enjoyable than Dr. Crank, and in some ways a little more fun than X-Graver. Between his strong posability, triplicate foot transformations, BIG HANDS mode, and usual Hercules accessory play patterns, I feel alright about this guy on his own. Had he a more interesting paint scheme, a slightly different head, and a much more solid bulldozer blade in vehicle mode, I'd easily rank him as my number three of six. Instead, he remains just below Structor for that denomination. Anyway, this has been Internet Personality Vangelis, and that concludes my coverage of Team Hercules. Right? Wait, are you... are you telling me I'm supposed to be doing something else here?